buddy Steve here. I want to do a quick video on my new bubbler idea because I almost got it done. And basically, here it is. It's almost done. Uh, let me run down how this is going to work. Uh, you've got the tube that's coming from your cell. And what will happen is you'll have water down here. And then you'll have water down here. And you'll have air here. And then you'll have air here. And if you notice, we have a, a plug uh, with a brass fitting in there. And the same thing up on the top, a uh, real recessed area with a brass fitting. And so here's how it's going to work. The gas is going to come up, it's going to go through the tube, through this area, through the water, it'll bubble up here. Uh, this white section, basically all that is, is a one-way check valve. And that's what's in here. I just took some uh, PVC plugs with a two-inch acrylic, uh, cut them in half, threw that uh, one-way check valve in there, glued them together, slid it down there, and just glued it in place. So that way it uh, looks kind of cool. Uh, so anyway, that way I can have two bubblers in uh, one area. And then up at the very top, uh, we wanted something to ensure that if there was any bubbles that came up or moisture, that there was something that would kind of guard against that and keep that moisture in this top part of the bubbler. And basically, uh, I haven't finished, I haven't glued this up because I wanted to show you all uh, of how it's made. And basically, that right there, what's in there is... Uh, HDPE plastic, and uh, which is about just over an eighth, less than a quarter, something like that. And uh, just put it on a drill press, drilled a bunch of holes, make it look like a shower drain type of thing. And so I got that. And then I have that in there, if you can see that. And basically, ooh, it's green. And in case you're wondering where this came from, it's a secret, but I'm going to tell you. Can you see that? Scotch Bright scrubbing pad. So, I suggest that if you're married, go do the dishes and you might see those pads and you can maybe sneak one away from there and uh, do the dishes, kind of help your wife out at the same time. So anyway, um, basically this uh, opening here is two inches and to cut out this was just a, uh, a door hole uh, saw, keyhole saw. Uh, that's how I was able to get that. This cut with scissors, and if you look at the inside there, um, basically, just throw that little piece in there, like so. I don't know if you can see that. And then we'll put in the uh, HDPE, like so. And then what I'll do is, because I'm going to keep that scouring pad in there, I'll glue this together and then uh, put on the, uh, the cap. I'm going to do a close-up of the cap. Basically, it was a little recessed cap. A little brass fitting wasn't on there, but I drilled that out and was able to screw that in there. And then the blue stuff in there is uh, tool dip because I really want to seal that end. Uh, sealed this end with, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, some waterproof glue. So, I mean, this thing is not going to leak at all. And uh, I think it's going to turn out really good. I haven't tested it out yet, um, but... Uh, I think it'll do really well. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain about this. So, and besides, this has got to be like the coolest bubbler around, okay? You could have two bubblers here. You have two different colored waters. You can put LED lights, strobes, whatever. Man, this would be like a science experiment. You get an A just for the bubbler itself. Um, that's probably going a bit too far. But anyway, I think this is the coolest bubbler I've, I've seen um, for the Smack Booster. Now again, if you really wanted to get down to it, something that would really uh, work would be have your reservoir and use that to where your gas goes up from there into your reservoir and then kind of have a little bubbler action there with a, a, a flash arrestor or something like that. Uh, you don't really need anything like this, but I just think this is really cool because you have two bubblers in, the, in one space and one tube and uh, uh, it just looks cool. So. We'll try this out and see how it works. I think it'll work for my booster and for my truck, uh, for my van. Um, probably going to have to go a different route. Probably do the reservoir thing. So, But uh, that's how that works. Oh, where do you get these pieces? Uh, the great pieces you get in the electrical section of Home Despot or Rome Depot or Rose Home Improvement. Uh, 
it's in the electrical section because it's for the electrical conduit tubes and stuff like that and it's two inches and yeah it's threaded up here but we don't use that okay uh, the two inch acrylic just fits right in there perfect fit the white pieces are end caps uh, with a female portion and of course the male plug um, you'll find that in the plumbing and PVC section of your home improvement store and then of course the brass fittings you I found them there as well uh, one-way check valve check uh, McMaster car or just do a Google and one-way check valve in this check valve Basically, it's a one PSI that will allow the air to go through, and then I can't remember what it is total, but uh, I haven't had any problems with the other bubbler, so this should work out pretty well. Um, let's see what else. Uh, just the other thing I want to do is I just want to say thanks to everybody out there. Uh, you know, yesterday I did the the install into the truck, the basic install, basic in 105 degree heat, and I got to tell y'all, uh, I just got to say thanks for y'all uh, sending me messages, leaving me comments, uh, little tips on things that I can try with bubblers or wiring or the cell itself or whatever. Um, a lot of that came into play and it uh, all that information got used in one way or another. And if it didn't get used in this install or this cell, it's things that I'm keeping in mind to do with the next cell that I build. So, um, and again, it's just sharing information. And sometimes you can get the same information and it doesn't really do anything. But like the seventh to eighth time somebody passes on that same information, the stuff you already knew, um, boom, a new idea comes to mind. And, and so just keep sharing information. Uh, a lot of people know I share information, send a bunch of stuff out, and uh, yeah, try to help some people out. So because I need help, so I figure there's at least at least one other person that needs help. So, but anyway, thanks everybody for uh, for all the help and the comments and the encouragement, and the naysayers. They haven't been around. I've gotten one, and uh, ignored him. Uh, had to ban him, but uh, I don't know. Like I said, the jury's still out with this HHO stuff. Again, I'm building this whole thing to see if I can get. An improvement in my gas mileage and uh, until I can get the system fully installed in the truck and mess around with the EFI and some other stuff like that if I have to uh, I want to see if there's an increase in gas mileage and if there is oh, that's gonna be an awesome video because I'm gonna be talking some smack so anyway um, so that's it still gonna do some upgrades on the cell like I said I'm gonna put uh, fill cap so make the uh, filling the cell a little bit more user friendly and uh, oh other thing I did was I took uh, instead of using that uh, plastic tubing uh, plastic tubing from running from the bubbler to the injection site for the hydroxy or browns gas uh, that got really really hot and so I switched that out with quarter inch fuel line hose uh, because it can withstand a whole lot of heat uh, blends in with the rest of the engine and I think that's going to work out really really well so I highly I'd say go that route so that way you don't have to worry about that tubing getting hot or melting and, and gas getting into underneath your hood and building up or anything like that. So <sighs> I guess that's it. Um, kind of late. So it was a long night last night. Stayed up late. Long day of training and doing weapon stuff and uh, learning some cool stuff. So got to do that again tomorrow. So. I'm going to cut a call today here, and again, thanks everybody for helping out. And again, if you got more information, hey, I'm all ears. Um, I don't know everything. I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. And um, if you got some good information or some good ideas, lay them on me, you know, uh, about wrapping cells, uh, you know, or using pumps or, or radiators to help clue, clear, uh, keep your electrolyte cool. Uh, any kind of stuff like that. Um, yeah, pass that on. Pass that on. Not just to me, but to everybody else and these other people that are kind of like me that, you know, I ask stupid questions. And you got to keep that in mind. If you're a newbie, you're going to ask stupid questions. And I'm, I'm still asking stupid questions. So just kind of keep that in mind if somebody asks you a question and, and take the opportunity to, uh, to teach and kind of help them understand how things work uh, with whatever they, they ask you. If it's a naysayer, well, we, we know what to do. Uh, 
let them go spend four bucks for a gallon of gas and we'll keep working on our systems and hopefully we'll get that uh, increase in miles per gallon. So anyway, but that's it. Time's clicking down, so i got to go get a shower, hit the rack, catch y'all later. Peace.